Hey, what's up YouTube? Paul Madfish here. Um, I've never done a tank maintenance video on how I clean my tank out. I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of muck and poop in the bottom. Uh, so, tank maintenance time. Um, show you around what equipment I use first. So, I've got the obvious buckets, uh, gravel siphon, hose, uh, dirty waste drum so I can measure what comes out so I can replace it exactly uh, over here I've set up a water heating station so all my drums of RO water I heat and I also pump air into each drum so it's highly oxygenated water before it goes in the tank uh, for canister filter maintenance what I do is I buy a big sheet of the the foam, uh, the filter foam. As you can see, there's a, a custom bought one, the proper thing. What I do is place that on there and cut it out to the size I want. Uh, that saves me an absolute fortune. I think these for two is five pound, and for one huge sheet, as you can see, the length of that is what was that I think it was about seven pounds and that that does two filters per per cut because you can peel it in half uh, as you can see I'll lift it up see if you can see the thickness of that is immense so I'll peel that in half so I'll crack on with the water changing uh, this video might be a bit choppy as my editing skills are zero um, so just bear with me guys Right guys, so the first little job I carry out is I service my canister filter first. Uh, so I find if there's any debris left in it, I don't want that blowing back into the tank into my nice clean water. So as you can see, unplugged, safety first. Uh, close the valves. This might be difficult to do one-handed. Pop the catches all four corners and I grab my black bucket which is my dirty bucket lift the lid off and transfer it straight over into there when the excess water drains straight into there just leave that to drip for a moment and I don't know why you can see this that's pretty scummy nasty in the top of there um, so what I'll do is I'll disassemble it and then continue on the video right so I've pulled out the three baskets uh, so one two three three's at the bottom one's at the top as you can see the bottom layer of filter foam is disgusting that's after two weeks as I've mentioned in previous videos I maintain my canister every two weeks and that is pretty disgusting um, so I discard that number one not so bad but I also discard that uh, this is purely for mechanical filtration I'm not interested in its biological values so don't get upset with me for you know, you're throwing away good bacteria because all my good bacteria is in the other foams and in obviously the media. The media I'm using, uh, the Aqua one, come with these like rock type things, and it's also got uh, noodles. Some pick one out, uh, like a ceramic noodle. Uh, which I dumped in the bottom I set this filter up as per Pond Guru's instructions so what I do is I'll empty out all the water in there I've had a good check round to make sure there's no fry in the bottom uh, obviously you hear a lot of people the fry gets sucked into the bottom of the canister and then they pour it away and they lose the fry so I know that there's no fry in there so what I'll do is I'll pour out all that filthy water and then move on 
Oh. Right guys, uh, my next step, what I do is I crack off um, one of the lines to the, to the head and I just give the bottom a bit of a rinse out. So then I empty out that water, it just keeps things that's where the most build up of muck dirt detritus is so uh, I clean that out also if you have snails in your tank unwanted pest snails uh, you'll find that their eggs will get drawn into there so you definitely want to try and get them out uh, so we'll give that a good rinse off uh, but we're obviously using tank water because it's straight from the filter uh, so yeah, that's what we do there. Right guys, so what I've done now is I've replaced the filter foams. I've rinsed that, all the media out in the bottom. Uh, as you can see, that's the contents of my bucket. It's absolutely disgusting. You can't really see that very well, sorry. Sorry about the glare. Um, and now what I'm going to do is reassemble it exactly the same way I took it apart. So three to the bottom, basket three. Three, let's get two, let's get one to the top, what I've done is all these little o-rings they all need to line up down one side, you can't have them cross match because that's where your flow goes through. Then what I do is I refill the canister with the tank water uh, if you fill it down the hole any debris that comes out of your pipe work will end up in the bottom as you can see a bit of debris come out because uh, this could potentially stand for about 45 minutes an hour while I'm messing about draining the tank down cleaning the ornaments and everything so I'll come back to you once I've reassembled it Right guys, so what I've done is I've plugged the filter back together, I've powered it up, and now, uh, I don't know if you can see, am I upside down? Upside down moment, get in there, uh, I've set the filter running again, so all the debris and everything that was left in the lines has been blown straight back out into the tank, because obviously I'm pulling this water out. So then all I do is I just turn the filter back off before it starts drawing it back through. Right guys, so the next stage is, as you can see, everything is running now barring the filter. What I do is I label up each socket uh, so I know what's plugged into what. That just helps me out when, you know, if we have an emergency or anything along those lines. So next thing is unplug everything. If you notice, I didn't unplug the heater in the first place because it's still within its safe working limit. Uh, I know this just through experience because obviously I've done a lot of tank maintenance. Right, air pumps. Uh, you can leave your lights on if you want. What I'll do is I'll I'll leave them on just for this, uh, just for this demonstration. Right, so everything's off. Now the only air pump noise you can hear is the air pump that's circulating the RO drums. Right, on to the next step. What we're going to do, I use the hose pipe next. This is going to be very difficult for me to film because I've got no tripod. I'm filming this on an iPad. So I get my guard nose, uh, and what I do is I just vacuum off the top layer of dirt. Right, because uh, I've got moss in here, when the moss drops, it gets wrapped around everything and that blocks up my gravel siphon. Uh, so what I found to do is I use the hose pipe first to draw off the worst of the waste and any moss debris and then I use the gravel siphon. I know I've got sand in there uh, as you can see it's, it's quite dirty um, but I can still use the gravel siphon hopefully I'll be able to show you that um, if I've got enough hands. Right, be back in a minute. Right guys, 
So what I've done, I do have a moving bed filter in mind. Uh, it's not, to be honest, it's the bacteria sort of worn off of it a little bit because I had the problem with the uh, Fluval Q.5 uh, air pump. So the movement's been massively reduced, but basically that lives in the back corner uh, of the old dual filter housing so, so it's not on show uh, to be honest they are a bit ugly in my eyes uh, serve a great purpose but I don't want to see it I don't want to see it in my tank so I'll sort of show you that right guys so as you can see I've got me uh, siphon effect going uh, where is it? And all I do is I just, it's pretty difficult one handed, uh, just vacuum off the debris. I'm not actually putting the siphon on top of the sand because I don't want the sand getting obviously sucked up like this plant is. Um, I'll continue on with this and then I'll come back to you. So guys, what I've done is I've finished up the hose siphoning section. What I'm going to do now is use a gravel vacuum. I uh, just want to try and penetrate into the sand and draw out any of the trap gases and nastiness that's in there. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot less detritus and poo and mess and all that nasty stuff. Uh, so, I'll give you an idea of the tank water level that I've dropped to so far uh, I've probably got about another 20 litres or so to take out of there I'd, because this is the water change that I do uh, this is the every other week one because my partner does she does the one in the middle um, I take a lot more water out so it's probably more like a 75% water change 